everyone, welcome back to Rise and Yoga Online. Today we're going to do a short Hatha Yoga sequence focusing on balance. So we're going to do a few standing balances and a couple of arm balances as well. Um, so make sure you have a bit of space and a yoga mat, if you have one, or just the space. Um, make sure you have some comfy clothes and some water nearby in case you need that. And remembering that everything I say is optional, you know your body best, so you make those choices that are going to suit you. So we're going to start off sitting in a comfortable position, hands to the tops of the knees, sitting up nice and tall, and we'll start to close down your eyes. Just take a moment to settle yourself in. Bringing your awareness to your breath, to your body. Letting go of anything outside of your body. Just acknowledging that you can take this time for yourself. Everything outside of you can wait to the end of this 20 minutes. Take a deep breath in down into your tummy and then breathe out. Breathing in and out. Two more. Find that connection between your mind, your breath, and your body. And then from here, deep breath in. And as you breathe out, a sigh out of your mouth. And again, inhale. Exhale, release. Once more, inhale. Exhale. And your next inhale, starting to open your eyes. Nice. Let's start to move. So either rolling of the knees or coming to all fours in whatever way you like. We're going to stack your wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And we're coming to a nice neutral spine. Remember to hust up under your hands. So spread your fingers out wide. Press each knuckle down into the mat. Starting with some cat cows. So as you inhale, we lift the tail. Drop the belly, open through your chest and look up. As you exhale, starting to lightly tuck the tail under, slowly working your way up your spine until you're looking at your belly button. Inhale, we open up. Exhale, back. Inhale. Stretching your back and exhale. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Nice, inhale, we'll open up again. This time coming to your extended cat-cow, so as you exhale, we're curling under, and starting to draw your right knee in towards your forehead. Inhale, extend the right leg out long behind you, open through your chest, look up. Exhale, draw that knee in again. Inhale, extend it out long. Nice long line from your head to your toes. Exhale, draw it in. One more time. Inhale, extending out long. And we'll hold it here for a moment. See if you can get your right hip down so it's the same height as your left hip rather than letting it open up to the side. If you want, you can lift your left arm out in front for a little balance. First balance of the day. Keep pressing down through each knuckle in your right hand. Take one big inhale, and exhale, we'll lower the hands and knees down. Nice, other side, inhale, opening up. Exhale, curling under, draw the left knee in towards your forehead. Inhale, extend left leg out long, open through the chest, feel like someone's trying to pull that leg out from you. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale. And one more inhale, extend, and holding it here. 
See if you can drop the left hip down so it's the same height as the right hip. And then maybe bringing right arm out in front for a balance. Keep pressing down into that left hand. Press your right shin into the mat. Take one more big inhale. And exhale, lower hands and knees down. Beautiful. Sit back on your heels and bring your forehead down to the mat. Come into your child's pose. Take a little rest. Remembering you're welcome to come back to this child's pose position at any point throughout the class for any reason at all. On your next inhale, coming up to all fours again. Tuck your toes under, and as you exhale, lifting knees and hips, coming to your first downward dog. Again, ease your way into this, find some movement. Ooh, there's something yellow on my mat. I don't know if you guys do this, but I have this obsession with cleaning things off my mat whenever I'm looking, whenever I'm upside down. All right, finding some stillness, pressing heels down, pressing chest towards your thighs, and welcome to bend your knees as much as you like. And then we'll start to walk the feet up to in between your hands. Coming to a forward fold, bend your knees so you can rest your chest all the way down on your thighs. And let your head and arms hang down. And then on your next inhale, starting to very slowly roll up to standing, moving one vertebra at a time. Nice work. All right, we're going to come to some sun salutations to continue warming up your body. Starting with our classical Surya Namaskar, so set up in your Tadasana Mountain Pose. Big toes together, heels are slightly apart. Drawing up through your kneecaps, activate your quads, a little micro bend in the backs of the knees. We're going to draw the belly button lightly in, shoulders are going back and down, and chin is lightly tucked in. Alright, take an inhale, arms come up over your head. Exhale, fold forwards, bend your knees, relax your head. Inhale, we come to a halfway lift, hands can come to thighs, shins or fingertips touching the mat, looking for that nice flat back. Exhale, plant your palms down, step your right foot back and lower your right knee down. Inhale, we lift up, open through the chest, press forwards with the back hip to your right hip. Exhale, we lower down. Inhale, tuck the back toes, lift your back knee, step your left foot back to your high plank. As you exhale, we're gonna lower knees down, lower your chest towards the mat, keeping elbows as close to your body as you can through Chaturanga. And inhale, we lift chest up, to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the knees and hips, downward dog, take a breath here, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, step your right foot up to in between your hands, you can help it up if you need to. Exhale, lower the left knee down. Inhale, we lift hands up, press forwards with the back hip, tucking the tail under, opening through the chest. Exhale, lower. Inhale, step the left foot up to meet the right, coming straight to that flat back position. And exhale, fold. Inhale, reach forwards, arms come up. And exhale, hands to heart centre. Beautiful, left side, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your palms, step left foot back, lower left knee. Inhale, we lift up, pressing back hip forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, tuck the back toes and lift the back knee, step back to your high plank. And exhale, lower knees, chest, forehead. Inhale, lifting up through cobra. And exhale, press back, downward dog. Take an inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, step the left foot up in between your hands, help it up if you need. Exhale, lower the right knee down. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, step the right foot up to meet the left, flat back. And exhale, fold. Inhale, coming up to standing. And exhale, hands to heart centre. Nice work, take a moment here. Come back to your breath. Just notice how your body is responding to this movement. Might be well, might be a little challenging today. Just noticing without judging. Alrighty, 
Let's go again a little bit faster. Once more on each side, take an inhale and exhale. Inhales, come up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step the right foot back, lower right knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower you down. Inhale, lift. Cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, here. Exhale. Inhale, step the right foot up. Exhale, lower the left knee. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, step the left foot up. Flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, fold straight back down. Inhale, flat. Exhale, plant the palms, step the left foot back, lower left knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Down dog. <laughs> Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, step the left foot up. Exhale, lower right knee. Inhale, coming up. Ooh. Exhale, lower. Inhale, step the right foot up to meet the left, left back. And exhale, fold. Inhale, arms reach forward to come up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Nice work. All right, from here, we're going to come to some of your standing balances. So we're going to start off with um, a little transition to two different balances standing up. To begin, it's important to set your foundations before you try and do standing balances, or any balance really, um, to make sure that you're not going to fall straight out of it. Make sure you're steady and strong. So we're going to start, bring your hands to hips. Big toes together, heels slightly apart, or feet hip distance. You're going to set your gaze at a point in front of you, maybe just above the screen. It's not moving, ideally. It's going to help keep you balanced if you can keep looking at that one point the whole time. We'll start to play with your center of balance. So bring the weight into the balls of your feet. Send it back into your heels. Send it all into your left foot. All into the right foot. Let's go around in circles. One way and the other way. Beautiful. And then we are sent all the way across into that left foot. Nice. From here, spread your left toes down and wide. And we're going to really plant that foot down into the floor. Keep all the way in that left foot. Straighten your knee and engage that kneecap, drawing it up to help ground down into the floor. You're going to start to lift the right knee in towards your chest. You can hold it here if you like, or see if you can bring left hand to the left knee. A little bit harder, we're going to see if you can bring your uh, left hand to the inside of your left foot and maybe pistol grip your, sorry, right hand, right big toe, right foot, or one right. <laughs> so grab and hold of the toe. Nice. From here, you can bring your left arm out to the side to help you balance if you need to. Take an inhale, we're standing up tall as you can. Keep standing up tall. As you exhale, you might like to start to straighten that leg just a little. It doesn't have to be completely straight. I want you to focus on that tallness through your back. So if your leg is straight but you're bent over, then that's not the ideal pose that we're going for today. Stand up tall and then work on sending that leg straight out in front. Beautiful. Keep breathing. Think of pressing down into that supporting leg to hold you up like a tree. We've got roots going down into the ground and that's going to keep you lifted the whole time. If you fall out of this, come back to the beginning, recenter yourself, send that weight into one foot and then start to come up. Holding for two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, from here, bending the knee. We're going to release it, and we're bringing the foot back behind you, see if you can grab hold of your ankle. 
Nice work here. Inhale, left hand comes up over your head. Keep that balance. Exhale, we're going to start to fold forward slightly, just a little. And then, if you feel like you can, try to start to press the foot back into your hand. Nice. Come into your dancer's posture, a variation of your dancer's posture. Now again, <laughs> it's tricky. We're focusing on the balance today. So I don't necessarily need to see your leg super high in towards the sky. Even if it's just standing straight up or just slightly leaning over, focus on that and see if you can get that stability through your supporting leg. Let's hold for two more breaths. On your next inhale, start to stand back up and then we'll release the leg down. Beautiful little shimmy shake. Doing well. All right, other side. So standing up in your Tadasana again. Standing up nice and tall. Set your gaze. Here we go. Let's bring the weight forwards and back. Into one foot, into the other, around in circles, and the other way. Beautiful, now putting all the weight down in that right foot. Nice. Start to set your foundations here, spreading the toes, pressing down into that leg, drawing up the kneecap. And we start to lift the left knee up. You can hold it here if you like. If you want, you can bring left hand to left knee. If you want, to go a little further. See if you can bring left hand to fist or grip the left big toe, then stand up tall. So you might have to bend down to grab hold of the toe, but after you've got it, stand back up. Then if you want a little bit more, Starting to straighten the leg, keeping that tall spine. Nice, you're doing really well. Keep going. Three more breaths. Focus on balance. Two. One more. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. We'll bend the knee back in. Release the foot. And we're bringing it around the back, grab hold of it. You can either grab the outside or the inside of your toes, whatever you feel like today. Keep thinking about pressing down into that leg. Keep the balance. Inhale, right hand comes up. Exhale, we start to lean forwards. Just a little. And then, maybe, see if you can press the hand back into you. Sorry, press the foot back into your hand. Nice. Think about grounding down into that supporting leg. Holding for two more breaths. Focus on your balance. On your next inhale, starting to come up. And exhale, release. Nice work, nearly lost it at the end. <laughs> okay, we're gonna come down to the floor to come to some arm balances. These are a little challenging, but we're going to have a go at it anyway. So coming down to the floor, however you like. We're going to start off with a couple of different variations of crow pose. Um, so first we're going to try our side crow, and then we'll try the full crow, or kasana. Which I always remember because it's like a crow sound, bakasana, kasana. <laughs> okay, so starting with the side crow. What's really important in this is you get a rotation of your spine. If you don't twist all the way, you'll struggle in this position. So we're going to come up onto the balls of your feet with knees in front of you. From here, I'm trying to twist all the way over to the left side, getting my hands all the way to that side. So if you can see my elbows, and upper arm is resting on the outside just above my knee here. So what is the resting positions for this posture? This uh, right thigh, the side of it is going to be resting on my left upper arm and the hip is going to be resting on my right upper arm. 
So from here, we're going to bring hands all the way over. We're spreading fingers out wide and planting them. Whoa, trying to fall over already. Plant them down, shoulder width apart. From here, we start to bend your elbows. See if you can start to rest that leg on your upper arms and elbows. If you just get to here, that's okay for today. From here, if you want to go a little further, I'm going to see if we can start to shuffle the feet out from underneath you. So you have a little more space. Bend the elbows a bit more. Think the nose is going forwards until you might start to lift one foot up and maybe lifting the other foot up and seeing if you can balance. You can do little hops, one or the other. I'm a bit slippery on my jumper. So some clothes there can make you slip. Um, yes, yeah, so there's lots of different things that change this. Probably can take my jumper off to help. So let's have another go. Just play with it. It's a little challenge, but you're okay. You can, you can give it a go. I'll show you from this angle. So hands going over, I'm twisting all the way, spreading fingers out wide, pressing them down. Bend the elbows first, get those contact points with the upper arm and that leg. Then we start to lean forward, shuffle the feet out. Breathe as you start to lift one foot up and lifting the other foot up. Nice, once you're in the position, Focus on breathing. If you just hold it for a second, that's okay. But we're aiming, what's gonna help you be able to hold it longer is to be able to breathe deeply once you're in it. So try two or three times on one side. Um, and then we'll have a go on the other side as well. So let's give it one more go. Remembering to spread those fingers and keep pressing down as much as you can. Remember, nose goes forwards in space rather than going straight down as well. If you're nervous about this because your face is going down towards the floor, then you can put a cushion or a block just there so that if you do, you probably won't fall forwards, you'll probably fall backwards. But if you do fall forwards, you'll just land on a cushion. So welcome to do that if you like. All right, hopefully you've done it about two or three times. Let's try the other side. So, coming up. I'm gonna turn, twisting all the way over to the left. Try and make sure that that elbow comes down past your knee. You can just hold that position, focus on that twist for a moment if it helps you get really into it. Then, planting palms down. Bend the elbows and bring that hip down so you get that contact point. So this time the left, just above your knee, is on your right upper thigh, uh, sorry, upper arm, and your left hip is resting on the left upper arm. So finding those contact points, then we start to lean forward more, shuffle the feet, can come to just here if you like, otherwise lifting one foot up, leaning forwards a bit more, see if you can lift. Whoop. The other foot up as well. Beautiful side crow. Oh, and hold it once you're there. Breathe if you can. Keep going like that. Give me two more. For those of you, if you're finding this is a bit tough on your wrist, we'll do a quick exercise for that. Bringing the tops of the hands down to the floor. And we're just going to try and make a fist. And relax. So keep doing the crow. And do this if your wrists start to get sore. One more crow. If you want to give it a go, if your wrists are feeling okay, you can jump back into it. Otherwise, you can do some rolls. And shakes. Nice, so hopefully you've given the side crow got a couple of goes on each side. Now we're gonna try our full crow. So, similar feeling in that you have those contact points on your upper arms and we're moving forwards in space to lift the toes up. So we're going to come up onto basically the standing for this one or a little froggy leg position. So knees are on the outsides of your arms to start off with, up on the balls of your feet. You're going to plant your palms down on the floor and I find it's a little easier for me if my hands are just ever so slightly turned in. So you might find that helps for you, otherwise you can adjust it however you like. From here, we're going to come up and see if you can find that contact point of your knees coming to the backs of your upper arms. So knees are coming here. From here, 
We bend the elbows, move forwards in space. Move forwards rather than down. Then start in two. See if you can hover one foot up, other foot up. One, two. Then we work towards little hops, rocking forwards and back. Hop. And then eventually, seeing if you can hold it there. So bum is going in the air. Face is not going down, it's going forwards. And that will help to shift your weight so that you can get those toes lifted. If you're finding it's a little challenging or it's painful in the back of your arms, you can try, I guess it's a little bit of a cheat version, but it helps you with the balance, which is what we're focusing on today. So if you want to try a different version, you do the same thing, except instead of bringing knees into the upper arms, we're bringing them just outside. And you're going to think of squeezing your knees in on your arms the whole time. So squeezing knees in, we bend the elbows, we lift one foot and the other foot. Nice, you might find that's a little easier. Give it one more go if you'd like. And then we'll relax your wrists again. Nice, feel free to pause the video or watch it back if you want to have a few more goes. All right, let's do a couple of stretches before we finish. Legs out long, flexing the feet, take an inhale, sit up tall, and exhale, folding forwards. Just focus on starting to relax your spine. One more breath. And then starting to come up. From here, we'll bring hands back behind you. Um, a little reverse stretch for your wrists this time. We're gonna bend your knees, so they're hip distance apart, and then take an inhale, we're lifting hips up. As high as you can. You can either keep chin towards your chest, or you can let your head rock back. One more inhale, exhale, chin comes in, and we'll lower your hips down. Before we come into your final shavasana, we're going to do a little more stretching for your wrists because they've done a lot of work. So to start off with, fingers pointing towards you, heels of the hands pointing away, and we're just slightly leaning forwards. If you want it a bit more intense, move your hands further away, a bit less intense, bring them closer towards your body. One for two more breaths. And then we'll do the reverse. So tops of the hands come down and we're straightening those elbows. Being gentle. One more breath. And we'll come up, give them a gentle roll. Gentle flick or shake if you need. And then we'll start to come down onto your back for your final Shavasana. Starting to let go. And take a moment to just breathe here. You're welcome to stay here as long as you'd like. I'll finish the video here. So as always, any questions, comments or criticism is always welcome. Feel free to message me about anything. Otherwise, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll talk to you next time. Thank you.